Okay, just doing a quick video while I've got this printer open. Anyone who's asked us for firmware for an Ender 3, Ender 3 Pro, any of those sorts of machines will have been asked for the CPU ID. So this is the chip you're looking for. When your board is all connected up there will probably be one of these ribbon cables covering it, like so. So you move that out of the way, you get a good look at this chip. Okay, now it probably won't show on camera, but this is a GD chip and it has RET6, R-E-T-6 on the second line of text. So that tells me it's a Giga device chip with 512K of memory. So that's a V4.22 board. And that's all the information you need, right? No. See this sticker over here, it says T8. That's because this board, although it's in a Sovol SV05, is the same as an Ender 5 Pro board. Which means these steppers are all TMC2208 silent steppers. So we need this information as well. Creality have helpfully told me in a live chat that what you see on this SD card shield is meaningless. But every other resource we work from says that's your best way of guessing which type of steppers you have. And the only other option is to remove each and every heatsink, clean the paste off, and hope you can read the information on these chips. So, fairly straightforward, but there's other changes. At some point in the revisions, this port here is your case fan. Originally, it was always on, so the fan was always calling your motherboard. Then at some point, it changed so that it was paired with this fan, which is your parts calling fan. So the only time your board is calling is when your parts fan is on, which is terrible. But... That's the basics of the board you're working with if you've got this particular revision. And the reason we have to ask all of these questions is because here is another Creality V422 board. Same as this one, right? No. Because this one is the original GD chip. And Very hard to read the text on this chip, but I believe from memory this is a RET6, that's 512K as well. So, same as this one, nope. Because these steppers aren't silent. So that's another revision has to be done in the firmware. And on the back is a sticker that says Ender 3 Pro GD. So that has to have a different version of firmware to account for the different steppers because these are non-silent steppers so two different versions not too bad right uh, guess again this looks the same but this is from an Ender 3 Max when they first did the Ender 3 Maxes they swapped the X and Y steppers from the noisy ones to TMC 2208s. So if you've got this board, or this particular revision of the board, then you need to configure your firmware so that this stepper and this stepper are set as 2208 silent steppers, and these two are the normal steppers. Another revision. This one is also an STM chip and is RET6, so that's another 512K. The original Ender Pro board was all non-silent steppers, uh, but then we've seen some revisions that are RCT6, which means it's got half the memory. So it's got 256K of memory. So another variation of the firmware. And again, if you look at the, the SD card shield, here it's A slash C which Creality says is just something written on by their engineers 
all the resources we work from tells us that is two silent steppers, two non-silent steppers. So this is just my collection and I've got three completely different boards here to hand. So there is a very good reason why we ask so many questions because it's the only way of knowing without actually having hands on with the board. Okay, I hope that helps. And now I'm going to carry on putting this printer together.